Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the first video in the Momentum series. So we're going to look at uh, what momentum is, how to calculate it, uh, what it's useful for, and the idea of the conservation of momentum. So momentum is what, uh, it's the stuff that moving objects have. So we've got a bowling ball being bowled here. And when we were learning about forces, and we draw a force diagram for this bowling ball here, um, we'd have something like this. There's a downwards force from gravity, uh, on the ball from the earth and an upwards force from the uh, floor on the ball and many of you wanted to put a forwards force and you say well that's what keeps it moving and there is no forwards force because there's nothing interacting with it at that point in the picture what it does have though is momentum in the forwards direction now that's something that um, it's not a force it doesn't go in the force diagram but it's what you would have wanted to put on that, that force diagram it has momentum it's the stuff moving objects have uh, the formula for momentum is P equals mv, and we'll go through each of those letters. The, the m's mass, so heavy things have momentum, or more momentum. The v is uh, velocity, and the p stands for momentum, and the units of that is kilograms, meters per second. Now, m many times I'm going to substitute in the unit um, as momentums. I'll talk about six momentums as opposed to six kilograms, meters per second, uh, but the official unit is just from the, uh, the formula there. And the symbol for it, of course, is p. P is for momentum. Okay, so momentum is useful for when there's interactions between one or more uh, moving objects. And the obvious interaction is collisions. So a collision between two moving cars. Uh, you can also have a collision between one object that's moving and one object that isn't moving. So here we have a, a girl running and jumping onto her skateboard. The skateboard was stationary um, and she was moving to start with and they, they both moved off together. You can also have uh, momentum being useful for the opposite of a, a collision, where you have two moving objects come together. What you have is explosions, where you have none of the objects are moving to start with, but then they something happens and they all move in, um, in different directions. So here we have a um, some sort of grenade that explodes and all the fragments move out. Or you could have a, a cannon, where the shell is fired forward, and in that, we have the recoil of the cannon moving backwards. So both of those situations, either um, collisions or explosions, are useful for momentum. All right, so the reason momentum is useful for these um, two situations is because of the idea of conservation of momentum. And that is that the total momentum in a system is conserved. Uh, there's a little caveat there, as, as long as there are no unbalanced external forces. And we're going to explore this idea using momentum bar charts. So even though it's, it's really important, um, I'm not expecting you to remember it yet, but the total momentum in a system is conserved because we're going to explore this idea quite a bit using our momentum bar charts.